President Donald Trump called Russian President Vladimir Putin Tuesday to praise him on his win in a race that a significant part of whatever is left of the world considered fixed to support him dash, best case scenario. Typically, the prevailing press, and foundation legislators of all stripes, lost their aggregate personalities, in spite of the fact that Trump was likewise shielded by no less than one astonishing previous Obama organization official. Arizona Senator John McCain's reaction was run-of-the-mill, if maybe more well-mannered than numerous others. U.S. Congressperson John McCain, Oz, chairman of the Senate Armed Services Committee, discharged the accompanying proclamation today on President Trump saluting Vladimir Putin on his race triumph. An American president does not lead the free world by complimenting despots on winning sham decisions. What's more, by doing as such with Vladimir Putin, President Trump offended each Russian subject who was denied the privilege to vote in a free and reasonable decision to decide their nation's future, including the endless Russian nationalists who have gambled such a great amount to dissent and oppose Putin's administration. One person who couldn't help contradicting McCain and other Trump depreciators was Leon Panetta, a Democrat who has held various workplaces under previous presidents Bill Clinton and Barack Obama. Presidents converse with rulers and rulers and dictators paying little mind to regardless of whether they were chosen with any sort of popularity-based process or not, Panetta disclosed to Neil Cavuto on Fox News Your World with Neil Cavuto. So I think the president has a privilege to converse with Putin and to clearly check whether there are territories that they can concur with. I figure my worry would be that in case you're conversing with Putin, I likewise believe it's imperative to be direct and legit with Putin. He is someone that you must be candid with. Furthermore, in the event that you attempt to take into account him, he'll exploit it. So I would have loved the president notwithstanding getting some information about zones where we can cooperate, he ought to likewise specify the way that there are lines we're not going to give the Russians a chance to cross, for example, animosity in the Ukraine or hostility in Syria or hostility against our race procedure or utilizing nerve gas to slaughter Russians in another nation. Panetta, to filled in as both CIA executive and secretary of guard under Obama, appeared to slight his previous supervisor in his remarks with respect to Putin's disposition toward the United States. I think Putin has perused shortcoming into the stance of the United States for a really long time. What's more, I think the outcome is that he wants to escape with anything he needs to do. And if the president will attempt to work with quality, he will must be exceptionally clear with Putin, and disclose to him where the lines are that can't be crossed with regards to the United States he included. Someone must make that reasonable to Putin. Also, if this president doesn't do it, don't imagine it any other way, Putin will exploit it. Was Trump ethically wrong to salute Putin for winning what for all intents and purposes each nonpartisan spectator would portray as a fixed race? You could unquestionably make that contention, and I'd most likely concur with you, for whatever that is worth. Given that Trump's way to deal with both local and outside approach may best be portrayed as pragmatism, Council on Foreign Relations visiting senior fellow James Golgier may have expressed the applicable inquiry best, at any rate the extent that online networking goes. Without knowing Trump's approach objectives with positively, making any unquestionably judgment of his activities is probably not going to demonstrate helpful, or savvy. But at the same time it's hasty to anticipate that a bog occupant will act like something besides a marsh inhabitant, notwithstanding when he lives amidst the forsaken radiant Arizona. What do you think? Look down to remark beneath.